All right, Ray, yesterday I said it was hard to make myself get outside. Today I did. It was actually really enjoyable. As they say, there's no bad weather, only bad clothing, right? <laughs> uh, you, you can go about it that way, but uh, <laughs> today was certainly colder it was and cold. windier than yesterday. And if you were able to pull yourself off the couch and go outside to enjoy some winter weather today, more power to you. But when it comes down to it, we have some additional snow and some very low wind chills this evening. And these are going to carry over right into early tomorrow. Snow on the board, as you see here on the radar, just these little streaks of snow. And you get a couple spots where that snow is a little steadier. Had some just outside Bethel Park that extends uh, down pretty much towards New Eagle. Um, as you cross over into where uh, Washington County, where Westmoreland County and Allegheny County all come together. Also coming out of Beaver County uh, through uh, Hopewell, right up towards Robinson, some, some snow. And again, where that snow's coming down, you get these little bursts. You might get a quick coating, and that could cause some slick spots. So just keep that in mind. It's not going to be a widespread issue, but it'll be one of those issues that you may come across tonight. Now, when it comes to the wind chill or what it feels like, Single digits in most cases. Eight is a very popular number. Pittsburgh, Latrobe, Connellsville all feel like eight degrees. Nine up in Butler, six for Franklin. So it's wind chilly, cloudy skies, no snow in town at this moment. We've had some light snow out at the airport. That's why we have that on the report. 21 degrees is the current temperature, but those Nearly 15 mile per hour winds make it feel like eight degrees. Actual temperatures around generally in the low 20s. We are sinking down into the teens tonight. Another cold one with the snow showers on and off over the next several hours. These are going to start to transition out of here as high pressure builds in. That's going to change the wind pattern and keep it from blowing off the lake, which means we don't have to worry about the snow anymore and we'll actually break up those clouds a little bit tomorrow. Now into early Saturday, we'll have some sunshine, but those clouds build back in through the day. So we're going to call it a day with increasing and clouds and it's out ahead of some snow and rain. You can see how this works out. We've been talking about this next big system coming in and this is coming in for Sunday. So early Sunday, some snow showers lift in and then you can see on the bottom left of your screen, the pink, which would indicate a mix, potentially some freezing rain and some rain that is going to get close and how close the rain gets and how far north it pushes depends on how much snow we're going to get. And it's a little too soon to tell. What we do know now is it's likely going to start off as snow and transition to a mix, potentially some freezing rain and rain before changing back to snow. So it could be a very sloppy setup into Sunday. So some quick accumulations followed by some potential freezing rain, then rain and then some accumulations again. And that cold pattern and those winds off the lake are going to keep the snow going for the first few days of next week. So it's going to be an interesting start to the new week and month of February. 17 degrees for tonight, cold and breezy, just scattered snow. Not much more than a half inch additional accumulation is expected for tonight. Tomorrow we're going to see a few flakes early, otherwise mostly cloudy skies. Clouds increase on Saturday. That wintry mix, some snow, then rain, potentially ice mixed in there. Back to snow on Sunday, snow showers Monday and Tuesday, and those temperatures hang out in those mid-30s Wednesday and Thursday of next week.